Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate the compass. So I had to have an extra cameraman, thanks to mom for being the cameraman. But we're gonna plug it up, we're gonna fire it up, and then we're gonna calibrate the compass so that you can see what it takes to do. And this you will have to do every time you start the drone. And it doesn't take very long, but it's something that has to be done. So, we already talked about the battery, talked about the remote. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the remote on. We're gonna connect the battery. And it's gonna do its thing. <clears throat> Lights will flash. And it'll make some beeps. And it's gonna say on the remote, calibrate compass one. And what that means is it wants to take the drone, the nose, and you rotate it horizontally. Fairly slow about three to four to five times, whatever it takes. Once the compass calibrates, you'll notice the lights turn flashing green. When that happens, turn the nose down and you're gonna calibrate compass two. And once you calibrate compass two, it will start flashing like a plane. And you'll notice on the remote that the calibrate compass one and two goes away. So, one other thing I wanted to point out is the H setting. We have the roll and the pitch, which is this and that. But the, but the H setting is actually your heading. So it'll tell you the degrees that you're heading on the same thing on a compass. Um, so that's how you calibrate the compass or calibrate the drone for the compass. So at this point, you are um, able to go out and fly the drone. So while we have the compass and GPS connected, I'll talk about a couple others. Um, I, I talked about the return to home and the GPS. So down here you, it says return to home. When I turn the, the switch down, it goes away from return to hold and it has just GPS hold. The GPS button or switch, when you have it up, it'll say GPS hold. If you switch it off, it'll say altitude hold. So you're probably gonna wanna fly in GPS hold for quite a while until you really get the hang of it. Um, but again, you flip the switch up, and it goes to return to home. And again, that's for when you're flying out away and you want it to come back safely and you want it to come back, um, it will do its thing. So return to home off is down. All right, so next we're going to um, go outside and we're going to talk about how to um, start up the motors and stop the motors and take off and do some flight. So you can stop the video.